RexMixLoops.com. I've had a few people ask me how to use Rex 2 loops with Pro Tools 12.7.1. Real quick, I'm going to show you guys how to import Rex loops. I have currently have my loops on the desktop. The way you access the loops is go to Windows, right up the top, Window, New Workspace, Sound Base. And I currently have my loops on the desktop. Go to user desktop. Here I'm going to grab some Rex2 loops. Voila. And you want to make sure you hit this green button. This will sync the loops to your current BPM. As you can see, the loops were made in Temple 100. Now I can change the tempo to whatever I like. Right now I have it at 106. Let's try 107. And it should sync up. And I can speed that up. It should speed it up as well. All right, so we get the idea. Now let's just choose a loop here. So let's just go with this. Now you want to make sure you got the blue button on the left hand corner selected. You can choose real grid or grid, but grid is what's working. If you want to align it directly to the first bar. Also at the top in the middle near the transport, make sure the grid is selected. And I'm using one fourth that's working for me. Nudge, I set it up at one bar. And to get back to the loops, again, it's window. New workspace, sound base. Just to show you again, user, desktop, select the Rex files. And there they are. Now we can just simply grab it and drag it to the grid. You can see how it nudges to the bar. Now, if you want to repeat or duplicate, you select it, highlight it, click on demand or command D. This will repeat it as many times as you want. And as you can see, it's going to be to exactly to the click or to the grid. So that's how you use Rex 2 loops with Pro Tools. If you like what you've seen, subscribe to my channel. I will add a link on bottom where you can get these loops, these drum loops, on my website. Thanks. Remixloops.com